going to say anything. About what? About why he lied to you. About why the Alex just turned up looking for him. What do you want me to do? Burst into the bathroom, give him the third degree. He's only just got it. You're always making excuses for him, man. for all we know, Alex could be just lying through his teeth. Why would you take the word of a complete stranger over that of your own brother? Fine. I'll ask him myself, No, then. no, you won't. Just get to the pub. Let me get to the bottom of it my way, please. I was going to have a massive sulk for you, making me work Todd's first night back, but then that gorgeous thing tipped up. How do you know it's gay? Liz, my gay dart is never wrong. I had Sandy Toxvig peg way before she came out. Yeah, I would say I'm with boy George. <clears throat> do I detect a London accent? Are we just visiting? Yeah, uh, sort of. Keep the change. Thank you kindly. <clears throat> no man well, do you? Only from those depressing paintings by Lowry. Technically, that's Salford, but a sense of humour, how refreshing. <laughs> to be honest, this is the last place I want to be. How flattering. I'm supposed to be in New York right now. Oh, really? Well, Manchester has got a lot more to offer than just matched up men and witty barmen. <laughs> yeah. I hear you also have rain and football. I'm not a fan of either. I don't know, you stand it up here. Uh, now, hold your horses, Sean! Do you think you could get me some more slimline tonics and mixers, please? Stuck up Southern Jesse. I think your gay dad needs fine tuning. Just because he's a miserable beggar doesn't mean to say he's not gay. Yes, Jason? Uh, pint, please, Liz. Right. Hi. You all right? Uh, sorry about before. Coming in all guns blazing. Mind if I join you? Oh, I love that. I love turquoise. Turquoise? No, it's turquoise. No, turquoise. That's what Mary Porter's calls it. Mary Porter's does not call it turquoise. <laughs> How do you know? Have you ever heard her say it? No. Yeah, what do you think about this one? Oh, I love that. I like apricot. It's apricot, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, why don't you leave that for a bit, eh? Because if I don't clean the brushes immediately, the bristles will coagulate with paint. I'm only trying to help. I'm only trying to help. The mitigating justification for those who interfere in other people's business. Yeah, well, what type of friends would we be if we didn't want to help, eh? The considerate kind. Well, then you and me have got very different definitions of considerate in that case. You know what? I lost my dad to cancer a few years back, and all I know is that if I'd spent the last few months with him like you and Ailey are now, I'd never forgive myself. Ailey wants you with the Roy, not here decorating the flat. Time's so precious for you now, for both of you. Oh, Roy, you need to make the most of it. I want to make the most of it. That's the whole problem. What if Sally comes back first? Look, here's your dad now. Right, positions. I don't want to get into trouble. Look, you want the sad of Sally out of his life, right? Yeah. Time we put our drama lessons into action. Ah! It's only me, don't worry. We thought you were a burglar. We heard something in the garden. We thought they were trying to be in the conservatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Where the ex Sally? I don't know. She said she was going to the shops. That was ages ago. Well, it's probably a cat or a fox or something. Do you want me to check the garden? Well, don't leave us here. Well, why don't you come with me? We'll all go together. Yeah, let's let's do this. Tell you what, if it's an intruder, I'll deal with it. But if it's a fox, it's down to you two, OK? So I can't stand the beggars. Right, let's move this. Come on. Look, Roy, I know you're bottling things up, and believe me, I know you're a private man. <sighs> when our Gary came back from the army, oh, the things that he'd been through. You know what happened to his best mate, Quinny, out there? Can you imagine what that does to somebody's head? I imagine it's devastating. Well, he didn't want to talk about any of it first, and I can understand that, of course I can, but Roy, it nearly drove him out of his mind. Our heads are not built to lock things up like that. This is completely different to my situation. 
Whether I talk about this or whether I don't hardly matters, does it? Hayley is still going to die. Yeah, which is why you've got to spend every last moment with her, Roy. Not up here playing changing rooms. All I know is that since you've come back from Blackpool, things have totally changed between you. You cannot let the cancer but come look, between... It won't be the cancer that kills Hayley. She's decided to end her own life before the cancer gets a chance to do so. I shouldn't have told you that. Please forget it. I said anything. And I, I, I really must finish this corner thing. Feel better after your bath? Yeah. The train from London was fine. The tram here was packed. Fifteen solid minutes and my nose jammed into some builder's armpit. Mm. Sean says some people pay good money for that sort of thing in a London club. Mum! Some of those posh beers in the fridge. So, do you want a glass of wine? Did you bring me some? Sorry, didn't have a chance. If you strap your cash, you don't need to worry. Well, no, it's not that. Just wanted to get here as quick as I could. Shame Jules couldn't come with you. Yeah. Do you want me to go to Dev's for a bottle for you? Might have to borrow fiver. Didn't have a chance to get to a cash point. Oh, well, they've got a cash point in Devs. Oh, right. Uh, I'll just go and get my card. Don't worry about it, my purse is over there. Won't be tick. No. no. I don't know. I just don't want to leave him on his own, that's all. Who are you talking to? Yeah, all right then. OK, I'll see you later. Bye, love. It was just Owen, that's all. You didn't tell him? No, of course not. I, I just said I'd be home late. You must promise me you won't tell a living soul. I won't. I can't believe I betrayed Haley's confidence oh, in this way. Roy, I'm not going to tell She'd anybody. She'd be furious if she knew I'd told anyone. Roy, I'm not going to tell anybody, I, I swear. What, what was I thinking? Oh, Roy, please. Look, I need to go to the shops, get a new brush. This is entirely inadequate for corners. Roy! I thought you were at the suppliers. I was, but I got a call from Faye, scared out of her wits. We thought we heard someone in the garden, and you left your phone here, so we couldn't ring you. Oh, my God, there was somebody in the garden. It was a false alarm, I hope. Sorry. No, I'm sorry I didn't think I was gone that long. Sophie just wanted to show me a couple of tops that she bought for her birthday. Well, Grace wants to go home, and I'll drop Faye oh. on the way back. Come on, girls. Thanks for having me, Mrs Webster. Oh, I'm sorry I left you on your own, girls. I thought you'd be all right. Well, it weren't. Oh, damn it. Very easy, Tiger. Oh, it's the fourth time I've added them up. And they keep coming out different every time. <laughs> thought it was something serious. <laughs> it is. I'm using a calculator. I should be able to get it right. Oh, join the club. You know how I'm right with figures. And I've not even had a brain injury. Oh, come on. So you're not going to be replacing Rachel Riley on Countdown? Big deal. Mum to Carol Vorderman. <laughs> Blimey. It's a few years since you watched daytime telly, isn't it? They have telly in the daytime. Uh, 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 uh. Look, why don't you get off? We can manage here. And you can go veg in front of the telly and catch up on all them programmes you've been missing. Instead of vegging out here, you mean. No, I'll stay. Besides, tell us off for him. Good evening. We've not booked, I'm afraid. Oh, it's not a problem. Always quiet on a Monday evening. Only there's a few of us. We had that place in Balaclava Terrace boots, but it's been shut down. Health and safety, apparently. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I can show you to a table. How many of you are there? Ten. Ten to part the minivan, Janet. We're a go. I'll have a Long Island iced tea, love. So what's she like? This girlfriend of Jason's. She looks like a blow-up doll. Mother's in the licensing trade. Right up his street. <laughs> Blimey, you will thin that down. Mmm. I wasn't sure if cottage pie would suit you these days. Nothing like a home put meal. Mm. Just a good cook, isn't he? I bet his cottage pie puts mine to shame. Mum, well, we're not in that much. Besides, there's that many brilliant restaurants on our road. We've got uh, Jamaican, Spanish, mm. two Italians. We've had um, Swedish one open up two minutes away. Oh. Seems daft to bother cooking ourselves. Mm. Yeah, we've got a nice little um, Turkish place. Mm. Kebab shop. Mmm. <laughs> Any more beer? Um, butler's off tonight. What did your last slave die of? Sorry. Well, it's all right. Stay there. Get you on. I was in love with him. And it wasn't just the sex. 
Oh, that was amazing. Oh, mate, no, please. He was always promising to leave Jules. But there was always some excuse why I couldn't. Then Jules found out we were seeing each other and chucked him. Right, your milk and your fags. Cheers, love. I cannot cope without a brew and a ciggy. Any other errands you'd like me to run, madame? Or shall I get back to doing what I'm paid for? I do know how you like to keep yourself busy, Sean. I see she's still here. If he thinks he's got a chance with Jason, he's got another thing coming. You're not only barking up the wrong tree, you're in the wrong forest, cock. From what I can gather, that is Todd's boyfriend. What? That's not Todd's boyfriend. Oh, apparently so. He's been banging on about him non-stop. They must have had a hoo-ha on the train up by the sound of it. What, and poor Jason's playing agony ant, which is actually my job. I wonder what happened to Jules. Their table could do with a wipe. <laughs> right, well, I've got to get off, so... <clears throat> do I surmise correctly that you're a friend of Todd? Sean. Yes, that's me, I'm Sean. I live with their mum, Eileen. So have you travelled up with Todd? Hey. It's just I'm really looking forward to seeing him. I hope you two haven't had a row already. You knew he was coming. And you sat here and lied to my face. Alex, wait. What have I said? Oh, you're going to take the door off its hinges. Oh, do you mind? Sean, open his big bob, man. I am getting sick of this. Alex, for God's sake! So this is what you do, is it? Steal my cash and run home to mummy. I don't know what he's on about. Oh, yes, you do. So do I. Alex came round before you arrived. Where's that Long Island iced tea, love? Hey, yeah, just bear with us for a minute. Oh, at least get the Prosecco over, eh? I'm spinning feathers here. Just come in. Like me, my band, I didn't like this. Oh, let's just give them the drinks. Maybe they'll settle down. <laughs> Apparently, it's kind of the WRI. But it wouldn't melt when you're showing off the lemon meringue pie. Get them on a the night out like a rugby team. <laughs> Everything OK? Oh, I love. We just want to get some booze down there, Nick. Right there, news for the bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you anymore, love. You've got it. Hey, you, never mind that. He's the boss. And if he thinks I'm slacking, he'll give me a sack. Oops, sorry, love. He looks like he's all right. <laughs> You're not long. Celebration, is it? My divorce came through today. Yay! Yay! So I'm making up for the past 22 miserable years. <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> Looks like I've uh, still got it. Hey, we can do this. Oh, the harmless. All right, then. You get yourself behind the bar. They've ordered loads of cocktails, and your grand doesn't know what she's doing. She's not one end of an offer to umbrella from another. Yeah, sure. Shouting each other is not going to help. I can't believe he's followed me up here like some kind of demented stalker. Don't flatter yourself. I never want to see you again. Then why are you here? You know why? I want my money. Don't listen to him. He's trying to make me look bad. You don't need my help there. I swear to you, I lent him 500 quid for our holiday to New York. Yes, lent. I told you I'll pay you that back. I lent it to you because I thought we were a couple. Because I thought we were going to New York together, not for you to take it and run away with it. Oh, so it came with strides, did it? That is enough. I'm not leaving until I get my money back. Mum, what the heck are you doing? Name. Hughes. Alex Hughes. Mum, you haven't got 500 quid to be chucking away like this. I'll we'll have to take out an overdraft tomorrow. Mum, you don't well, have to I do this. I would keep quiet if I were you. 500 pounds with my apologies. I bought him up better than this. Yeah, well, he needs a refresher course. I'm sorry to have spoiled your evening. Don't call me. Oh, get over yourself. Look, I'll see you out. There's a, there's a taxi rank across the road. Um, I'll point the way to you. And you... I want answers, and this time I want the truth.
you sure you're not fish cakes? I am 100% positive, love. My husband had fish cakes, my wee chippy, every Friday for 22 years. The boring beggar. I'll never see another one of them as long as I live. It'll be too soon. Nick, Nick, fish cakes down the same. Just keep it in. I'll do it. Well, this one, I'll Waiting on that other bottle of Chardonnay, love. Just coming. Joking old Sal. Oh, look, you're here. Floral bath. Hey, what are you playing at? I need to help. Well, we don't need your help. Oh, don't we? How do you know we're busy? I called her. We need her with all this lot in. So I suggest we all pull together, get them fed and watered, and then you can go back to taking chunks out of each other. Agreed? Well, if you really can't stand the sight of me, I'll just go now. Still waiting on my chicken, love. Oh, fine, whatever. Great, right, you, cocktails, you, seat a big gob, and you, clean that mess up, like dealing with a load of kids. I was doing great at work. I really was. So why'd you get sacked, then? Because there's a recession on. Or haven't you heard? And it was last in, first out. And this affair with Alex? Well, I'm not proud of it. But things have been bad with Jules for ages. You know, he got, he got more and more controlling. You know, he started checking me messages, convinced I was seeing somebody else. Well, he was right. No, not then. Not at all. He pushed me away. And Alex was there for me. And that's how it started with him? Yeah. And then Jules found out and, um, he kicked me out and, and Alex wanted me to move in with him. And then, well, and then this whole New York thing, it just, just all got too much. Why didn't you tell me about it? Well, come home, even. Because I didn't want to disappoint you. Disappoint me? <sighs> Mum, I'm going to stay at Eva's. What, on your brother's first night back? You might be buying into all this, but I'm not. Well, I guess I can't compete with a blow-up doll. I've been trying to win here. I've been feeling that rotten. Don't worry about it. I wasn't even gone that long. Sally, they're 11. Now, I know I'm not exactly a candidate for parent of the year, but I don't want to give her next door any more ammunition against me, all right? Sorry, I was trying to help things by having a fairy round. What are you looking for? My phone. <sighs> Cheers. Hey, I was going to watch Dirty Dancing tonight. What do you reckon? Sure. Enjoy it. I'll see you later. Where are you going? Don't wait up. Well, I hope she doesn't think she's coming back here for anything. I thought you'd be smarter than that being my granddaughter. What? I know you can't stand the sight of her, but she's a very good worker. And if she came back to work here, you'd be able to do more important things like taking care of your Nick. She slept with him. Nick won't stray again. And even if he did, it wouldn't be with her. Mm. Not after the palaver it caused last time. And you could give her all those rotten little shifts that you don't want to do. She'd be so grateful to be back at work, she'd bend over backwards to keep you up. Oh, yeah, I like that. You could, you. Yeah, well, you don't get this old by being daft. <laughs> Everything under control? Yeah, all paid up in full. Left a well decent tip and all. Mm. Good. Right, then, I think me and you should take the rest of the night off. These two have got everything under control here. Eh? You can have a few of my shifts in the week if you want. If that's all right with you. Uh, yeah, what's brought this on? Oh, thanks, look, eh? Hey. Top night. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Try. Try. <laughs> Nothing. It's just... Look, I'm never going to be buzzing buddies, but she's just a waitress who needs a job, and I'm the boss's wife who needs some time off, and so do you. I'm game. Well, we know that, love, but do you want to come back and work here or not? Oh, come on. Has everybody lost their sense of humour? Right, come on, then. I owe you one. Don't you forget it. Just been online trying to transfer money to your account, but, um, I'm already overdrawn. So am I now. I will pay you back. Count on it. I thought we were close, Todd. We are. Are we? Because I barely recognise the man that Alex has been describing, cheating on Jules, stealing money from a bloke who's obviously head over heels in love with you. He said it was a loan. Honest, ma'am. 
He's trying to twist things because I didn't want to commit to him. I'll be Sean. Here he is. You come up and see me, have you? <laughs> oh, 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 let me have a look at you. Same old me. You're looking well, I reckon, kid. Yeah. Uh, listen, what was that in the pub before with that bloke? I hope I didn't put my foot in it. Don't worry about it. <sighs> so, you two have been having a nice catch up then? Mum's been telling me what a huge disappointment I am to her. I have not. Truth is, um, life's been pretty rotten the last few months. All right, you haven't said. Yeah, well, I didn't dare. You know what me mum's like. From anything other than Mr. Perfect, she practically has a nervous breakdown. Right, shall I get us a lager? Yeah, I'll get us a bit. Excuse me. I was hurt, Todd, because you've been lying to me for months about your job, about everything. And why do you think that is? Hey? You've always put me on a pedestal. Golden boy, you can't do any wrong. No, I have not. I just know what you're capable of. You're doing it again. What? Well, do you want me to go? Todd, calm down. No, of course not. Why would you say that? So if I feel I have to lie to her, it's because she's always expected too much from me. So if all this is anyone's fault, Mum, it's yours. Well, not known for getting things wrong, Hercule sets off to restore his reputation this week in the penultimate case for Agatha Christie's Poirot on Wednesday at 8. Next one, a missing schoolgirl is found dead in a quiet town. Does her own family know more than they're letting on? There's drama in a mother's son 